This is how the brain works. In the center part of the brain is where the cells that produce serotonin and norepinephrine modify the rest of the brain. Just like a dimmer switch can control how light or dark a whole room is just from one small area, each cell has connections with half a million other cells and you only have 250,000 in your whole brain. The signal comes down the nerve, it releases these chemicals which then go across the space called the synapse. Once those chemicals fill up the receptors on the left side of the synapse, the signal is sent. That's how the nerve on the right influences the nerve on the left. Here's a higher magnification of the same thing. The signal comes down the nerve, it releases, goes across, reaches critical mass, now sucks back up into the yellow vacuum system. Now the body will recycle some of it, but the rest of it is destroyed and thrown away. And how much is destroyed and thrown away is dependent upon your family characteristics. So if you don't have enough of the chemical to fill up those receptors, then you will have the signs and symptoms of depression and anxiety. Some people have problems with too much rather than too little. This is what we think happens with people with schizophrenia, and this is the dopamine system. They're being so overstimulated with dopamine, they become very agitated, they hallucinate, they can't sleep, they hear voices. So what we use is medications called atypical antipsychotics, which are represented by these green balls, which temporarily sit and block those receptors from being overstimulated helps to calm them down, the voices go away, they can sleep much better if they'll take their medication. Now this is what happens with depression. Chemical is released, it did not reach critical mass, so it sucks back up into the yellow vacuum system and a double dose is now released. Now there's enough to fill up those receptors and boom, the signal is sent. And now it's sucked back up into the vacuum system again, waiting for the next signal. Now, antidepressants are not addicting. All they are are these white balls that simply plug up that vacuum system. So now the body can't bring it back in and throw it away. So it helps your body conserve what you've already made. So now the concentration in that gap increases. It's like having instant hot water. When you turn on the spigot, you have hot water immediately. You don't have to wait for all the cold water to be pushed out of the hot water pipes before you get a cup of coffee or tea. This is what's addicting. This is in the pleasure center of the brain, and these are the dopamine receptors. And these purple balls represent methamphetamine and cocaine, which now begin to hit and to smash and to destroy those receptors. And it's like taking a hammer and smashing it through a board of wood so that people can no longer experience normal pleasure and joy in life unless you have more and more cocaine. So if you understand that, you understand how the brain works.